So a lot of people were commenting on how we look a little bit bad in terms of our fashion choices. Now, personally, I don't really care about how my character looks as long as I get the protection from armor or whatever the case may be, but I've taken your advice into account and I think you're probably gonna like this fashion choice because let's face it, anyone that complains about a character in a video game looking a little bit eh, you're gonna like this. You're gonna like these the, this hoodie right here. This is a hoodie that I bought from the nearby town. As you can see, it goes very well with my Marauder helmet, and it also goes very well with my tactical glasses. You can obviously see the fashion statement I am attempting to make here. And obviously, these old red pants. I mean, I couldn't have asked for better pants, to be honest. Now, it's just going to top it all off. Just wait, look at this, and boom. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. It looks absolutely fantastic. So hopefully that will appease those of you that have uh, wanted me to change my outfit because, you know, I, I think you're probably going to like this. This is probably something that some of you would wear in real life. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Anyway, apart from that, welcome back to Freeman Reformers. And uh, basically what has happened is there's a new update to the Freeman Overhaul mod. You can get the download link in the description if you want to check it out. And the new version has changed a number of really cool things in my opinion. Basically it's made it so that rifles are a little more accessible and in general weapons are more accessible as well. So you can see here for example the SKKS which is a fantastic longer range rifle has its marksmanship requirement reduced to five because usually it was 10. Now I'm not entirely sure if I agree 100% with making it five because obviously it's a very powerful rifle and the maximum marksmanship you can get in the game is 15. So I'm not sure if I'd, I'd make it five, maybe eight or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, point is, is that I think this is a really cool change in general. I think being able to have more variety in the amount of weapons you can use early game is always is always a nice idea. And as a result of the rifles and assault rifles and various other things being changed in terms of requirements, I now can use an AKM because I have five marksmanship and it requires marksmanship four. So you can see here that I've replaced all my nine millimeter ammo with 7.62 and that is going to be really, really fun, in my opinion, to try it out. Now, this SKKS, I could give that to one of my party. I'm not entirely sure who to give it to, to be honest, because there are a number of people that are really good with rifles. And mm, you know what? Let's give it to a female villager. Should we give it to a female villager? Is that going to be a bit too uh, a bit too overkill, perhaps, or something? Or maybe it's not going to be good enough? because she might not be able to handle it as well as she could handle like a shotgun or something like that because obviously their proficiencies are so dramatically different. But anyway, most of my people did level up from that previous engagement and we're now going to be attempting to fight some more people. Now, first off, what I'd like to do, considering I have 36,000 in my inventory, I'm thinking I'm maybe going to buy some more trained infantry, but I don't really want to buy anything from Minov. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to maybe Pozna territory or maybe we should go all the way over there or something like that. Ooh, ah, hello there. Hello, Cossack rebels. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can. No, don't attack. Oh, actually, that wouldn't even be that bad if they attacked them because I would be able to help them and we might get a good amount of experience as a result. If you'd like to check out the base game, by the way, of Freeman, there is a link in the description too. And I'd highly recommend checking it out because now with the release of mods and, and things, it is, uh, well, the first mod that we're going to see, it is just becoming even better. So we have two avenues of customization because obviously you have the developers who are working extremely hard with their small team you know making sure that every single update is meaningful and that's exactly what we want to see we want to see meaningful updates and we want to see fun updates and that's exactly what we're getting and then obviously you have the modding community on the other side of things that are uh, attempting to try and make everything a little bit more refined maybe uh, try to do, just customize the experience just that little bit more as well anyway as you can see right here we are against cossack rebels these guys might be a bit difficult but we're going to try our very best let's see if we can move my guys into a good location here this is probably not going to work out too well let's face it i'm uh, 
Uh, actually, you know, it might be, it might be okay. It might be okay. All right, so I do still have my red dot. I'm not entirely sure about the red dot, to be honest. I think the red dot is going to be okay. But I think what I'm going to do is, because I have such a huge amount of money at the moment, it might make sense for me to go and get a longer range scope. Because as I have explored in the previous episode, you can remove the scope at will, basically, by pressing left control. And that's a really fantastic thing to be able to do because as I said if you go for the 4x zoom or something like that and it's a massive amount of zoom and and maybe you want to fight close quarters situations then you can just press left control and you can you can remove it which is fantastic I really like that I really like that a lot so let me see if uh, we're going to I actually removed it by mistake because I wanted to crouch isn't that great okay well anyway let's uh, hmm, this is probably not the best place to be shall we try and oh you know what I'm just gonna wait here I'm literally just gonna wait here I'm a bit worried that if we go over the top here we're gonna meet them ah here we go look at this yes as you can see they're actually at the top over there let's see if we can maybe do something about them hello oh yeah oh that now that is that is exactly what I like to see this weapon is like a laser as you can see, we're actually able to hit them from this range. And we're not having any problems with that, which is just fantastic. I am so pleased that we are now able to use slightly better rifles and indeed weapons in general. Because beforehand, obviously, an SMG, it's really not going to do much from long range. But now, oh yes... Now we're actually deadly. Now we are actually starting to do some things when it comes to actually shooting things from long range. But obviously, it still has, yeah, you know, assault rifles are still going to have a little bit of inaccuracy because of my low proficiency. So it is going to still be a little bit of hit and miss here and there. So I'm actually thinking, shall we tell my people to charge in? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we should just wait and see because my Spetsnaz are doing a fantastic job as always at uh, dealing damage. Ooh, hello. Got him. Nice. We've actually gotten a whole bunch of kills in this particular engagement. And that is all thanks to the fact that I have this new weapon. Because as I said, the SMG in the previous episode, it just was not performing as well as it could. And obviously, from short, shorter ranges, medium ranges, it's really, really nice. But as you can see right there, Cossack Rebels, they stood no chance whatsoever. Well, they might have, but I think we just had superior positioning and they decided to kind of split up a little bit too much. But there's almost 10,000 credits, almost 500 experience from that. And we now have even more AKMs for us to take, which we could very much, very much deal with that, which is really great. I am actually thinking I'm not going to take any of the other loot because these AKMs are probably going to sell for a pretty significant number anyway and I'd like to try and keep my marching speed relatively shall we say relatively high because otherwise we're going to have problems anyway let's level these guys up these guys are now level five. Ooh, they have 15 marksmanship wow that's crazy okay so we're going to give an AKM to each of these guys. There we go. They're actually all using AKMs now, which is just crazy. And they have 61 armor proficiency as well. And we actually did just get some good armor. So let's take that off. Give the police vest to these guys. And uh, we actually did get something else, didn't we? That's better. Yeah, heavy Kevlar vest. We can give that guy. There we go. And they're all wearing really, really good stuff now. Wow. I'm 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 envious, basically, because they're they're wearing such good stuff. It's it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. Okay, so they're looking very nice in uniform right there. And then obviously we have our <laughs> ragtag band of female villagers, militia riflemen. Uh, Poznan Commander is actually not, not bad, but well, he, he could be better, I suppose. This is... Ah, is the AKM better than this? 650 muzzle velocity versus 650. It's basically the same thing but it probably changes the amount of damage. Yeah, the AKM-74 does a little bit more damage, but I'm perfectly happy in allowing this guy to stay with his weapon because that's what he came with. So I think that's pretty fine. And uh, can, I, can I replace anyone else's weapon? You know what? I'm actually going to replace the MK-14 here because 
I think the AKM would be better, even though they only have 16 assault rifle proficiency. That's basically just a little bit less than what I have. So I'm pretty happy with them going with that. And maybe we can give her something else. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. That is much, much better. Okay, so AKM, an SVD, and that is also an AKM. Uh, yeah, we'll, go, we'll replace this as well. Let's give an AKM to that one as well. There we go. Okay, so everyone has AKMs. <laughs> everyone has AKMs by the looks of things, apart from a couple of people that are using a sniper. I'm actually going to be reassigning one of these female villagers to this band right here because we have two snipers in the Mojave. Mm. Yes, in the Mojave squad. Uh, yes, just as a reminder, I know it's Mojave. I'm just having fun and making a joke. But anyway, point is, let's move on. Let us move on and we will see whether we can find another band of... Oh, hello there. Another band of bandits. A band of bandits banditing along. And they will be bandits no more if i can actually catch them. oh are you serious could you could you just uh, could you just chill out for a second i just wanted to kill those armored marauders why are you after me desert bandits you know why you know why they're after me because they want to reclaim the the deserts that i have that i have acquired in my in my squad you know the only thing we don't have is the gobi desert we need the gobi desert and we need the uh well I need to look up some more deserts because I think that's the only only couple of deserts I know. I think I think there's a bunch. There's there's definitely a bunch more, but obviously, I uh, can't remember them off heart. Off heart, off hand. Yes, off hand. All right, prepare to fight. These are going to be armored marauders, so they're probably going to be a little bit easier. I would say they're probably going to be a little bit easier than the other guys. What? Where are they? Where are they going to spawn? Ah, there. Ooh, okay. Well, that was intriguing. I couldn't see them for some reason. Okay, well, whatever the case, I think we should be fine. Let's just spawn everyone in here. And... Ooh, this is kind of weird. This is a weird layout. I'm not a big fan of this, but, well, that's just how it is. You know, you're going to have to roll with it. And maybe we can get over here. Let's try and move them around a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I will, we'll go for something like this. I don't think it's really going to make too much difference. Ooh, nice. I actually get to use my night vision goggles. I barely get a chance to use these nowadays. Amusingly enough, when I first started playing in, in this particular series, I had a whole bunch of nighttime battles. And obviously I couldn't afford night vision goggles. So, you know, now that I have them, there, there's barely any nighttime battles, which is kind of amusing. Anyway, let's have a look and see where I actually need to go. Ah, over in this direction. Okay, so now now that I have a rifle, it's going to be much more, more effective for me to be on the front lines because obviously beforehand, I was basically hiding away, trying to prevent myself from basically dying every single time because obviously the enemies are pretty good, you know, they're very accurate. Aha, hello there. Do they see me? I'm not entirely sure if they see me. They probably don't. Let's move these guys over here, and we'll take these guys up next to me. There's one right there. Shoot it. Shoot at him. I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. They fire in bursts, and those bursts are actually very, very effective. If they actually hit, they're very good. Okay, so let's see. Maybe I can do some extra damage here. You know what? I really have to change my mouse sensitivity, I feel. I feel like it's way too high for the moment. So let me... There we go. That's a little bit better. Although I am being shot at, which is not very nice. I might have to restock on my ammunition as well at some point. Let's move my forces a little bit ahead here. I need a scope. I need a, a much better zoom scope. Ooh, look at the bullet cartridges. I didn't even notice that before. That's cool. That is a really cool effect. I like that. Yeah, that is a really cool effect. Unfortunately, as you can see, uh, even, even having an assault rifle does not make up for the fact that my skills as a marksman are probably not the greatest. And uh, yeah, my guys are absolutely murdering every single one of these enemies and we're just gonna tell them to go straight up just go straight up and take him out where is he 
Do you see him? I don't see him. He's somewhere. Well, my guys definitely see him, so that's all that matters, I suppose. I only have three bullets remaining. I don't know whether I really want to charge him. Oh, there he is. Oh, I use it. <laughs> Just when I was about to get... Oh, well, technically I missed the first two shots. So technically I could have gotten his kill, but yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen this time around. All right, so I'm basically not going to take anything here because I would like to keep my marching speed up. I should really be selling all of these weapons. So you know what I'm going to do? I am actually going to take all of this stuff. And we're going to go to the nearby town, but I don't want to be too slow. As you can see, my marching speed is now minus 2.4, which is a bit risky because if you get caught out... Oh yeah, I actually still have prisoners, don't I? That is actually kind of bad. Okay, I guess I will execute the Armored Marauder then, even though I didn't really want to do that. And we'll try and get the compliance of our prisoners up. So as you can see, their compliance is pretty fantastic. I can basically just persuade to join and... Persuade to join. Let's do propaganda once or twice. There we go. Persuade to join. Persuade to join. There we go. Technically, I could have sold all those guys, but I have a pretty decent amount of money right now. I've got 54,000, so I think we're pretty fine with ourselves. And we're just going to let these guys stay in the unassigned unit area until we need them. And we're probably going to need them relatively soon, I think. Now, as you can see, people are still leveling up like no one's business. It's actually going very, very nicely. Look at these guys. These Spetsnaz guys are leveling up. Wow. They are leveling up like no one's business, which is really, really great. And what else do we have going on here? All level 5, apart from the Posner Commando, who obviously is a beast. And then, obviously, we do have the Militia Riflemen and the Female Villagers and so on and so forth. So, basically, I think what we're going to do is once these guys are back on their feet, so once they have a little bit of extra HP, I'm actually going to be replacing the villager units with the desert bandits and the mountain bandits, because as you can see right here, they even though they only have six marksmanship in comparison to the female villagers, the female villagers actually have good sight range. You see, because that's, a, that's another thing that you have to take into account, that the sight range of each unit makes a big difference to how effective they are in combat and as you can see these desert bandits they don't have the best sight range this cossack rebel fighter on the other hand has decent sight range so i'm thinking we're probably going to use him but for the most part most of the others are not really going to be that effective so i'm actually going to put him in there right now and i think he has a decent amount of stuff so basically there's no need for me to really even give him anything apart from maybe a first aid kit and that is it, I think. So we've now got five in each party, which I very much appreciate. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look around for... Oh, hello. More bandits. Uh, it would be cool to fight those, but I think, I think we've got a, a full enough inventory. So I'm going to go into the marketplace real quick. And oh, there's a discount on gold ore. That's actually really nice. We might actually do a little bit of trading, but I'll do that off screen, I think. Alright, so I did say I was going to do the trading off screen. I just want to show you that I'm actually purchasing all of this gold ore and I was actually going to make about 8,000 or 9,000 with the amount of the guns that I've just sold to this guy and the various miscellaneous stuff. But obviously I want to be able to trade up and so I've just you know traded the, the profit of that and, and we're still getting a very decent profit, 4,200, which is really nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the bartender and ask where the gold is. Ah, Chinivka. All right, I'm on my way. Well, this guy actually almost doesn't have enough to be able to buy all of the gold ore. So as you can see, he has just not enough for the last piece, but that's absolutely fine because we have literally sold 9,800 right there, and that is amazing. Look at that. So we are now swimming in money. We have 65,000 in cash, which is actually not even that much if you think about it. I mean, it's someone that's been playing the game for much longer than me, doing more trading, you know, more fighting, more successful fighting perhaps, is probably going to have a much better time of things. Anyway, I've actually t just taken a look in the barracks, and you can see here that a Spetsnaz unit, one of them, is 31,000. But here's the thing. If I were to buy, look at this. If I were to buy a whole bunch of Spetsnaz units for 500 and then kit them out in the various gear that I have so far acquired, which is actually quite a lot, I have enough to be able to fully outfit another Spetsnaz unit. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to make, I know someone actually mentioned 
that I don't have the Gobi Desert, so let's go for the let's go for Gobi right here, and uh, this is going to be our new Spetsnaz squad. So let's have a look. So they do come with some base armor, which is actually really nice. I don't have a helmet for them just yet, but I do have a wonderful vest, and we also have an AKM, and I can obviously give a first aid kit. So he's basically almost ready, you know. He's basically almost ready for battle. Now let's change our squad. Here, uh, we're probably going to change the squad icon of the other Spetsnaz unit as well because it's not re not very uniform, to be honest. So let's change this one as well to this one. There we go. So we know they're both Spetsnaz units. And we are probably going to change this one as well to a sniper of some kind because they have sniper units mostly in that particular squad. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the barracks oh yes a marauder helmet that is going to look really really nice on these guys in my opinion now technically i could buy all of this stuff i could buy more of this stuff actually for a pretty wow for a pretty significant amount i have another akm so should i buy another spetsnaz unit i think we should so what we're going to do is i don't even need to buy another vest i don't think so i think that is a pretty decent thing to do it's fine with me and we'll go into the barracks and we will buy another Spetsnaz unit. And then we will take him to the Gobi. There we go. We're not going to take him to the Gobi Desert, no. But we are going to take him over to our squad. And there we go. So he's going to wear that. And then he's going to use the AKM. And we'll give him a first aid kit. That's fantastic. Okay, so now he's looking really good. These guys are looking both really good. I'm going to give them the Marauder Helmet. The Marauder Helmet is, in my opinion, one of the best. I don't think I... I think I've seen one better, maybe. But uh, yeah, that is looking really good right now. And I'm very excited to see them in battle. Actually, I really want to get... You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy another... Oh, I need more leadership. No, I need more leadership. Ah, oh, that is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. I could get rid of these guys, technically. Uh... Uh, you know what? The Desert Bandits don't have a huge amount of sight, so I'm actually going to dismiss these two. I could have sold them, yes, to a, to a ransom broker or something like that, but personally, I'm I'm fine with how it went. I'm fine with that, and we'll we'll, we'll get rid of this guy's. Well, actually, you know, I should take their gear. Ugh, I should have taken all of their gear first. That was my bad. My bad. Oh well, never mind. We 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 have a good amount of cash. We have a good amount. So now that we have enough, we can now buy another two of these, and now we are ready to make two Spetsnaz squads once I have acquired some more gear for them. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to look around for potentially a base that we can attack. And I'm not talking about like a town here or anything like that, because I don't think we're ready for a town just yet. Maybe we are, maybe we're not, it really depends. But what I would like to do is maybe attack a terrorist camp or a bandit camp or something along those lines, because I think we could... Hmm, we could take that bandit camp. Let's do it. You have discovered an outlaw camp. Do you want to attack it? Yes, I do. All right, so these guys actually do outnumber us by a little bit. Actually, they outnumber us by quite a lot because obviously most of my units are not actually eligible for combat just yet because obviously they don't have the required items to be able to go in there. So we have 17, which is actually not too bad. Now, let's have a look. Right, okay, so they're going to spawn in their town and this is what why is this so flat oh no this is bad this is bad for me very bad indeed all right so let's see here we are gonna take mojave <laughs> mojave whatever you like and we're gonna take it over there and we're gonna take the rest of our squads in a different location we're gonna take them around here and try and get them on the top of this hill this is probably not gonna work out let me, let me just tell you now it's probably not gonna work out too well because let's face it i am in the open this is very much in the open this is probably not a good idea in any way but we're gonna try it nevertheless because i think it's fun i think it's fun to try it and who knows maybe we'll be successful and if we are successful then we're gonna be reaping the benefits like no one's business so let's see let's see if we can do it i i don't know whether we can uh hmm I might be able to actually eliminate a couple myself, but obviously I do need to be a bit cautious as well. So I'm going to try and get onto a little bit of a height advantage here, because obviously there's not many to choose from. This is a very flat area. And uh, let's see. Maybe we'll 
Ah, hello. Oh, I can actually see a whole bunch of them. Bear in mind that armored marauders and things like that are super, super good at what they do. I'm actually just going to move these guys over here because it seems like they're out of range, which is not great. So let's move them like so. Here, here, and I think our snipers are okay over there. I, th I don't think they're that good over there, to be honest, but we'll try it. I think we're going to be okay, because our Spetsnaz units are so incredibly powerful. You know, it's one of those things where you aim at someone, and you're thinking, Oh yes, I'm definitely hitting that guy. And then it turns out that you're absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Yes, that usually happens to me. Uh, yes, I, de I definitely need that zoom. I should have gotten a scope, and I am an imbecile for not. Absolutely. Should have definitely gotten that scope. Yeah, I'm hitting someone over there, but it's not really doing that much, so I should probably move up a little bit and just get behind this tree, perhaps. I am actually being focused down a little bit here, which is not exactly great. Let's see if I can move my forces a little bit closer here, because they, they are actually not firing now. Because bear in mind, sight range is a thing. Yes. Oh, these are just looters. Are you serious? Ah. Oh. Yes, of course. The ones that I would actually hit are looters. That's just my luck, isn't it? Is there actually a sniper? No, they don't have any snipers, right? I don't think they have any snipers. But yeah, I'm able to kill these looters very, very easily, obviously, because, let's face it, they're not wearing the best of armor, and I'm using a pretty good weapon. It's okay. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely needed to do something a little bit different there. Oh, yeah, did you see that? My helmet basically saved me from a huge amount of damage in that instance. That was really fantastic. I'm going to try a little bit of a flanking maneuver here, because... Frankly, I'm getting tired of not hitting because I am just that bad with uh, my proficiencies and things. Obviously, skill comes into it too. And maybe I'm just shooting at bushes. I might be just shooting at bushes. You never know. You never know with me. I might very well be. Okay, let's just stay down a little bit here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move these guys a little bit closer and move these inward as well. We're obviously not going to make them go in too far, but just enough to clear out this area. I can't even see where they're shooting from, to be honest. Uh, I definitely need them to stand up or something because that's... Ah, there we go. Hello. And he was killed. Yes, this has become the uh, <laughs> the theme for this particular attack. I am shooting at something, and then it gets killed before I can actually do anything. Isn't that great? That guy's dead already, I assume? Yeah, I think he is. Very good. Well, I don't see any, any others. Ah, hello. Yes, Armored Marauder, take that. There we go. That is my crowning glory right there. That one kill. <laughs> oh, terrible, terrible. Okay, so I think we're actually good now. I think we're actually good. We can probably move in a little bit more. And we can take them out. Ooh, yeah, my snipers are going to have a really, really fun time over in this direction because they actually have just seen a number of units coming over the hill. And obviously, they, they don't have any... Uh, they don't have any any cover whatsoever on the hill there, so they're probably going to get torn to shreds. And there's another couple of people. Is, is that guy dead now as well? Yes, I think he is. Yes. Great. Very good. Ah, my luck. Oh well, never mind. I, I think we're actually fine though, because as you can see, we were able to win in a rather outnumbered situation not not super outnumbered but they did outnumber us and i mean even though they did have looters obviously looters are not exactly the greatest unit ever so 
they're probably not gonna be that good when it comes to defending a camp because they don't have that much armor and obviously their proficiencies and offensive capabilities are lacking in most respects so i think i think we're good i think we are actually good so let's actually just take a quick look seems like the enemies are in uh, over in this direction so let's move these guys over here and uh, anywhere else i don't seem to see them anywhere else so i think there's just two in this group right here so hopefully our spetsnaz guys will be able to eliminate them and that will be it there we go that is actually a victory for us right there we crushed the bandit camp 18,000 credits that will definitely get me many many scopes which I would very much appreciate thanks very much and ooh, we got some heavy tactical vests oh yes those things are gonna go on some of our Spetsnaz guys no doubt and the AKM as well very nice indeed huge amounts of food here as well I guess I should probably take some let's take a little bit here and there and uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else that I really want to take. And I only have three spaces left, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right. So uh, now we have just some bandits. They're running away. I don't really need to attack them or anything like that, so I'm not really wanting to. We did level up, which is even better. So I think what I'm going to do is improve my leadership because right now, we currently are able to use the higher tier rifles and things like that. So, well, not, not all of them, obviously, but we can use the kind of mid-tier, high-tier sort of thing, and that's pretty good. So what we're going to do as well is, now that I have 10 assignable weapon points, I'm going to be increasing my armor to 50, so I can actually wear the tactical vest, which is just crazy good. I mean, it's obviously just 40, you know, it's just 10 more, but it is going to do quite a bit for us. And otherwise, we can level up our prisoner management, which I think I'm going to do, because that will increase our capacity by 5. And who knows, maybe I'll get some more prisoners going forward in the future. And that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.